today we will discuss about uh, thermodynamic subject okay, in two one semester okay, the, this is the basic subject for uh, all thermal engineering subjects in your uh, uh, mechanical engineering branch okay, uh, related to this uh, thermodynamic subject uh, in uh, next semesters uh, you will learn uh, different subjects uh, like uh, refrigeration thermal engineering one and thermal engineering two power plant engineering and automobile engineering okay, all these thermal engineering subjects are related to the basic concepts of uh, thermodynamics. Okay. Okay, what is the core subjectives of uh, thermodynamic subject? Okay, in this uh, course, uh, you may learn okay, the basic principles. Okay, the basic principles of class of thermodynamics. Thermodynamic class. Okay, in this thermodynamic class, okay, uh, we will discuss two different laws. First one is first law of thermodynamics. First law of thermodynamics. First law of thermodynamics. So second one is second law of thermodynamics. These are the two important laws of thermodynamics. Based on these laws only, we are analyzing the uh, different different energy audit of the mechanical systems. Different energy audits of the mechanical system. Okay, that means uh, energy audit means, uh, for example, if you take a steam power plant. Okay, that steam power plant consists of uh, so many different types of components like boiler, pump, and uh, steam turbine and steam condenser. Okay, if you want to analyze the uh, energy, okay, energy audit of that mechanical system, okay, uh, with the help of these two laws only we can analyze okay, the entire uh, system analysis, okay, individual component performance, individual component efficiency, okay, and overall plant efficiency. Okay, all these we are analyzing based on these fundamental laws, first law of thermodynamics and second law of thermodynamics. Okay, first law of thermodynamics says, okay, uh, energy neither be created nor destroyed and it can be converted from one form to another form. Okay, we are not uh, creating the energy, only we are transmitting one form of energy into another form. And second law of thermodynamics says, okay, by means of two laws, okay, we are analyzing the second law of thermodynamics. Next slides we will discuss first law of thermodynamics and second law of thermodynamics in detail. Okay, that is the course objective of uh, thermodynamics course structure coming to the course structure okay in this course in all six units uh, we will discuss introduction to the basic concepts okay in this basic concepts okay we will discuss what is the thermodynamics system and what is the state what is the process what is the uh, thermodynamic process what are the different uh, thermodynamic processes Okay, what are the different uh, mechanical devices? How do we apply the first law of thermodynamics to the uh, mechanical devices like uh, turbine, compressor, and pump, or refrigerator, heat engine? Okay, all these basic concepts we will discuss in this first unit. That is the introduction to the basic concepts. And second one is first law of thermodynamics. Okay, the first law of thermodynamic uh, statement and how do we apply the first law of thermodynamics to the different mechanical components. Okay, how do we uh, analyze the first law of thermodynamics? What are the limitations of the first law of thermodynamics? We will discuss in another unit. And uh, limitations of the first law of thermodynamics. Okay, we are uh, introducing the second law of thermodynamics because of the uh, limitations of the first law of thermodynamics. Okay, first law of thermodynamics have some limitations okay, that uh, we will discuss in next slides. Okay, because of that we are introducing in the uh, we are introducing the second law of thermodynamics that the second law of thermodynamics overcome the limitations of the first law of thermodynamics. Okay. 
like uh, pure substances okay in this uh, unit we will discuss what are the pure substance what is meant by pure substance okay how do we uh, justify how do we define pure substances okay how do we draw the pure substance on the okay thermodynamic coordinate systems okay like uh, pv diagram and ts diagram and pt diagram uh, hs diagrams all these are the thermodynamic coordinate graphs Okay. In ideal gas equation of state, in one unit we will discuss ideal gas equation of state. Okay, PV is equal to MRT. That is the ideal gas equation. Okay, that we will discuss in another unit. Okay, the, all these uh, concepts we will discuss in uh, six units of our subject. Okay, next. Uh, coming to the thermodynamics. Uh, what is thermodynamics? Okay, it is a science of energy. that concerned with uh, the ways in which energy is stored it concerned with the ways in which energy is stored generally okay, the energy is stored in two different ways okay in thermodynamics energy is stored in two different ways okay one is heat and second one is work these are the two forms of energies two energy conservations heat and work okay how that heat and work is stored in uh, different bodies uh, we will analyze in this thermodynamic subject okay uh, for example here i illustrated the layout of steam power plant okay this is the pump okay with the help of pump we are uh, sending the high pressure saturated liquid to the boiler section okay and uh, from the boiler section we are introducing the generated steam okay generally what is the function of boiler means okay boiler is a heat exchanger okay we are uh, giving the some quantity of heat energy to the feed water that means we are adding heat to the uh, water in the boiler section and that boiler generates the steam okay that generated steam enters into the steam turbine okay from the steam turbine okay we are uh, uh, getting some power output uh, that is the mechanical power output okay that power output we are giving to the generator section that the generator converts the mechanical energy into electrical energy and after the turbine okay exhaust steam enters into the steam condenser okay from the steam condenser we are receiving the saturated liquid and the saturated liquid we are sending to the pump okay here we are circulating the feed water and steam to the all components of the steam power plant okay uh, why I, i illustrated this diagram is okay according to the uh, thermodynamics okay we have to analyze the individual energy audit of the component for example uh, if you take pump okay we have to give some work input to run the pump okay unless uh, this pump will not work okay work consumption devices okay we may see in uh, mechanical engineering uh, subjects work consumption devices sir uh, pump and compressors okay we have to give some work input to run the pump and compressors okay and this energy audit of the pump we may we have to analyze in the thermodynamic subject in a different units and in case of boiler section we are giving the heat heat to the feed water and that feed water absorbing the heat and feed water is converting into steam Okay, here how much quantity of heat we are giving to the boiler section okay, in order to generate the steam. Okay, that quantity of heat analysis we have to analyze in the thermodynamic subject. And in turbine, okay, we are getting the some power output. Okay, with the help of working medium as a steam, okay, we are getting the some power output. Okay, that power output we are uh, uh, receiving from the turbine. How much quantity of power output we are receiving from the turbine we have to analyze in the thermodynamic subject and in case of condenser okay, we are uh, uh, generating the liquid from the steam we are generating the liquid that means uh, if you extract the heat or uh, heat energy from the exhaust steam that uh, exhaust steam is converting into saturated liquid okay, that saturated liquid from the condenser we are sending to the pump okay how much quantity of heat we are extracting from the steam condenser that analysis we have to do in the thermodynamic subject that is the energy audit that is the energy audit we have to do in the thermodynamic subject okay here how much quantity of power output we are generating from the turbine we have to analyze 
and how much quantity of heat input we are giving to the feed water in the boiler section, how much quantity of work input we are giving to run the pump, and how much quantity of heat we are rejecting from the condenser we have to analyze. Okay, these are the uh, analysis we have to edit in in thermodynamic subject. Okay, this is a uh, one system. Uh, you can take uh, uh, so many systems like uh, refrigeration system and diesel engine power plant. Okay, air conditioning, air conditioning system, heat engine. Okay, like that we can analyze so many uh, analysis of the different uh, types of thermodynamic systems. Okay, next. Okay, some basic concepts in uh, thermodynamics is first one is system. Okay, what is meant by thermodynamic system? Okay, if you consider some quantity of matter, okay, or uh, region in a space. Okay, this is the entire space. If you if I consider one region, okay, in this region uh, I have to uh, concern to an analyze the substance okay that is the thermodynamic system okay here i i shown on diagram in this space i consider this region for uh, analysis okay that is the thermodynamic system and uh, outside the system we are calling as surrounding and system and surrounding is separated by the boundary system and surrounding is separated by the boundary okay some uh, some basic concepts in thermodynamic system next okay we are dividing the we are dividing the thermodynamic systems into three types open system closed system and isolated system okay these are the three different types of thermodynamic systems okay we are analyzing the individual component performance of the mechanical devices or uh, mechanical systems with the uh, with the comparison of these three different types of systems one is open system second one is closed system and third one is isolated system these are the three different types okay based on energy interactions interactions of the system to the surrounding through the boundary we are classifying the thermodynamic systems into three types one is open system second one is closed system and third one is isolated system based only based on the mass and energy based on the mass and energy we are classifying the thermodynamic systems mass and energy these are the two energy interactions we have we are considering to divide the thermodynamic systems into three types open system closed system and isolated system Okay, in next slides we will discuss open system, closed system and isolated system with examples. Okay, in case of open system, okay, if you want to define an open system, okay, the open system uh, energy interactions are mass and energy, both from the system to the surrounding, uh, across the boundary, Okay, we are sending through the control volume. Control volume means this is the space or region we are doing the analysis during the energy interactions. Okay, here in case of open system, mass and energy both are okay, crossing from the boundary. Okay, next, in case of closed system, okay, only okay, mass, mass does not cross the system boundary and energy causes crosses from the system boundary only energy interactions takes place from the system to the surrounding through the boundary and mass interactions does not perform that is the closed system okay our uh, mechanical engineering devices works uh, some devices works as a closed system principle some devices works as a open uh, open uh, open open system okay open thermodynamic system okay in case of open system Okay, we can uh, uh, consider uh, the IC engine exhaust system. Okay, the IC engine exhaust gases. Okay, exhaust gases are freely enters into the outside atmosphere and are rejecting the heat energy to the outside atmospheric air and mass of exhaust gases are escaped into the outside atmosphere. That 
we are considering as okay for example for open system in place of a closed system uh, tightly capped cup of coffee that means okay if you tightly capped the cup of coffee the a mass of coffee may not trans, uh, may not uh, sending out out to the system to the surrounding only energy energy heat energy can crosses from the boundary to the surrounding okay next one is isolated system in case of isolated system no mass and no energy crosses from the system to the surrounding okay mass and mass does not transfer from the system to the surrounding and energy does not transfer from the system to the surrounding no interaction of mass and energy from the system to the surrounding okay that is the isolated system okay next properties of a system okay we are considering some properties of thermodynamic systems okay during the energy interactions our substance undergoes okay process okay during that process property variations may occur okay generally we are uh, we are considering two types of properties one is intensive properties and another one is extensive properties okay based on the mass okay mass depending on the mass we are uh, classifying the properties into two types intensive property and second one is extensive properties okay intensive properties are uh, dependent sorry independent of the amount of mass okay intensive properties are independent of the amount of mass okay examples of in intensive properties are temperature pressure and density okay we are indicating the temperature with capital letter p and pressure with capital letter p and density okay rho okay temperature uh, units are kelvin and pressure units are bars and density okay, kilogram per meter cube okay these are the intensive properties in case of extensive properties varies directly with the mass okay varies directly with the mass okay mass volume energy enthalpy specific volume specific enthalpy okay specific internal energy all these are the extensive properties okay total properties based on the okay interaction with the mass okay we are dividing into intensive properties and extensive properties okay next okay some other properties of the system specific properties if the property is divided divided by the okay mass those properties are called specific properties okay specific volume means volume is divided by mass internal energy okay divided by okay mass okay enthalpy divided by mass okay these are the specific properties and the uh, equilibrium okay equilibrium means okay during the uh, energy conversions okay that the thermodynamic system should be under uh, thermal equilibrium conditions okay if you want to keep the total thermodynamic system into thermal equilibrium conditions we have to keep that system by following these three equilibrium conditions first one is mechanical equilibrium and thermal equilibrium and chemical equilibrium in case of mechanical equilibrium okay no unbalanced forces okay uh, we are we have uh, we are not appear uh, we are not seeing the unbalanced forces okay that is the mechanical equilibrium equilibrium condition if there is any unbalanced forces appears in that system okay that is not under consideration of mechanical equilibrium okay in case of thermal equilibrium is equality of temperature we have to maintain okay that is the meaning of thermal equilibrium next chemical equilibrium means that chemical composition should be constant that is the meaning of chemical equilibrium if this uh, thermodynamic system okay satisfies these three thermal equilibrium these three equilibrium conditions then that uh, system we will call as thermal equilibrium okay next thermodynamic process okay okay uh, first we will see the definition of thermodynamic process 
okay, if any one or more properties of the system okay, undergoes a change due to energy or mass transfer. Okay, energy transfer okay, or mass transfer. Okay, because of energy transfer or mass transfer only, only changes will occur in the property. Okay, okay, if the changes, will, uh, changes are occurring during that process, okay, that uh, sequence of changes occurring in that uh, state property, we are joining okay, with one line, okay, that uh, line is called process. Okay, here I shown uh, one example of a piston and cylinder arrangement. Okay, inside the piston and cylinder arrangement, I consider it as thermodynamic system. And piston is moving from the okay, bottom dead center of the uh, cylinder up to the top dead center of the cylinder. Okay, during the movement of the piston from point one to point two, okay, inside the cylinder volume decreases. Okay, inside the cylinder volume decreases. That means okay, some volumetric change occurs inside the engine cylinder and here uh, the gas is compressed and that means uh, during the compression process pressure increases okay property in the, the property variation may occur in the pressure and volume okay during the energy transfer during the compression process some quantity of heat pressure and temperature rises okay if you draw that a sequence of state changes from point 1 to point 2 Okay, that is the process path. Okay, that is the thermodynamic process. Okay, we have different types of thermodynamic process based on the mass or energy transfer. Okay, next. Okay, cyclic process. Okay, cyclic process means okay, repeatedly no changes will occur in that state property. Okay, in previous slide. Uh, uh, we see now state 1 and state 2 points. Okay, during the cyclic process, no changes will occur in that state 1 and state 2, point, state two points. Okay. okay, in case of reversible process. Okay, reversible process means during the cyclic operation that the temperature, pressure and volume variations will not occur in that cyclic process. That is the reversible process. Okay. It is defined as a process that, uh, that once having takes place, it can be reversed. Okay, reversed means uh, during the continuous operation of that cycle, we, uh, we are uh, expecting the same quantity, same property variation in that cycle. Okay. Next, in case of irreversible process, okay, during that uh, cyclic operation, we are, uh, expect, uh, we are experiencing some property variation in that cyclic operation. That is the irreversible process. Okay, next. In case of isobaric process, another uh, type of thermodynamic process. Isobaric process means the pressure is constant. Okay, during the uh, process, okay, pressure is constant. Okay, uh, while we keeping the pressure constant, we are operating okay, that uh, device okay, by following the constant pressure process. If you want to give heat uh, to the feed water in the boiler section, okay, uh, we have to follow one thermodynamic process in order to give the heat energy to the feed water, okay, that is the constant pressure process, okay. Pressure is constant during the heat addition of, okay, heat addition of, okay, heat addition to the feed water, okay. Uh, on PV diagram, we can represent that process, okay, 1 to 2 is constant pressure process. Constant pressure process. Okay. Next. Isochoric process. Okay. Isochoric process means volume is constant. Okay. Volume is constant. During that uh, thermodynamic process, volume is constant. On the PV, PV diagram, we can see the vertical line. Okay. That is the process of okay, isochoric. Okay. Uh, isochoric process, volume is constant. Next, uh, in case of isothermal process, temperature is constant. Okay, if pressure is constant, that is isobaric process or constant pressure process. If the temperature is constant, that is okay, isothermal process or constant temperature process. If the volume is constant, okay, that is isochoric process or constant volume process. Okay, we are using these three thermodynamic processes only in order to give heat energy to the system or device 
or uh, in order to extract heat energy from the system or device. Only with these three processes only we are following in all thermal, uh, all mechanical uh, mechanical devices and mechanical systems. Okay, next. In case of thermodynamics class, okay, coming to the thermodynamic class, zeroth law of thermodynamics. Okay, if you consider three bodies A, B, and C, okay. Uh, if you want to test whether they, these three bodies are in thermal equilibrium or not, okay. In case of body A and body B, okay, if you made contact the hot body A and hot body B, okay, energy interactions takes place from body A to body B and uh, next body A to body C. Okay, if the body A and body B in in thermal equilibrium condition, then automatically, okay, then body B and body C also in thermal equilibrium condition because of body A is interacted with body B. Okay, that is the zero law of thermodynamics. Okay, next. In case of point function and path function, okay, okay we are dividing the properties, okay, temperature, okay, volume and uh, density, enthalpy, entropy, internal energy. Okay, all these properties we are classifying into we are point function and path function. Okay, point functions are pressure and temperature and volume. These three are the point functions. Okay, when two coordinates are located on the graph, they define a point and the two properties on the graph define a state. Okay, for example, if I draw a process, okay, on PV diagram, if I draw a process 1 to 2. Okay. At state point 1, uh, we may get volume V1 and at state point 2, we may get pressure P2. At point 2, pressure is P2. Okay. In this graph, we, uh, we can see the property variation from point 1 to point 2. Okay. That means pressure and volume are the two point functions. In case of path functions, we may not draw the path functions on the graph. Okay. Those two are the heat and work. Heat and work, those two are the energy interactions from the system to the surrounding. Those two are the energy conservations. Okay, that two we may not represent on the graph. Okay, that is the, okay, the those two are the example for the path function. Okay, next. Okay, heat. Okay, heat and uh, previously I told heat and work are the Okay, two different energy conservations of the thermodynamic system. Okay, heat, how do we uh, uh, justify the sign of the heat? Okay, we are representing that heat with the capital Q and units of Q is kilojoule. Kilojoules. Okay, sign of Q means okay, whether uh, heat is entering into the system or whether heat is re uh, relieving from the system. That means we are adding the heat to the system or we are rejecting heat from the system that have to justify with the help of a sign. Okay. If, uh, the, if you consider this is the system thermodynamic system, okay, Q1 is entering into the system and Q2 is entering into the system and Q3 is a quantity of heat rejecting from the system. Okay. Total quantity of heat. Okay, total quantity of heat or net heat transfer to the system. Okay, that is sum of algebraic sum of the all energy interactions of the system. That is Q1. Here we have to use this sign. Okay, uh, Q1 means okay, heat addition into the system is positive. Okay, always heat addition into the system. Heat entering into the system is positive. That means Q1 and Q2 are entering into the system. Q1 plus Q2 are the positive heat energies. And next one is Q3. Okay, heat rejection from the system. Heat leaving from the system is negative. Okay, minus Q3. Okay, similarly work also we can okay, uh, we can justify like this. Okay, work done on the system is negative and work done from the system is positive. Okay, this is W2. Okay. W1 is negative and W2 is positive. Okay. Network is uh, W2 minus W1. Okay. 
okay in that manner we can uh, uh, add the total uh, total energy interactions of the system okay right okay up to now we discussed the basic concepts of uh, thermodynamics okay like uh, what is been by state okay what is been by thermodynamic process okay what is been by property of the system okay what are the inter intensive properties what are the extensive properties all these properties how uh, how we define based on the uh, depending on the mass and energy interactions mass and energy transfer okay based on mass and energy transfer analysis okay we are uh, defining the different thermodynamic process okay what is mean by process okay how do we draw the different process on pv diagram okay and what are the different uh, energy interactions heat and work how the heat energy is releasing from the system how to we uh, how to how that uh, heat energy releasing from the system how that work entering into the system how that work done by the system that uh, sign how do we take the sign of the energy interactions okay in next section we will discuss what is first law of thermodynamics what is second law of thermodynamics okay, how do we apply the first law of thermodynamics to the devices how do we apply the second law of thermodynamics to the devices okay thank you